Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I greatly respect your 43 years, Mr. Smith. I've been here now, I'm in my fourth term, and I have a similar experience. Uh, nothing really has changed over those years except my seat has moved back a little bit. Uh, we're having the same conversation, same rhetoric, need to fix the infrastructure. We got a score of D minus on the engineer's infrastructure report card. All the options are on the table. We need to look at this. It's just a matter of paying for it, but there's no substantive plan. I commend the ranking member for trying to put out something on paper to say this is how we can fix it, but there's no plan. It's just a little dibs and dabs here and there. Everybody agrees we need to do something. Well, that's not going to get the job done. We've also heard a lot about maintenance of infrastructure, but I can tell you in the West and in my state of Nevada, where you've had rapid growth and development, the, there's a, a tremendous challenge there too. It's not so much uh, repair and maintenance, but it's providing access. If you look at Nevada, uh, we are $285 million shortfall every year for the next 10 years just to build state highways alone. So we've, uh, we've got to, to do something. Actually, my question goes to Mr. Trumpka. I'd like to ask him what he thinks about the suggestion that all our ills will be solved if we just give more corporate tax breaks uh, to the big companies. And then my second question, going back to the conversation about the public-private partnerships, how you would address those in terms of uh, labor agreements, employment agreements. You know, everybody talks about those as though there are hundreds of them out there. There's really only a handful. And I can tell you that in Nevada, where they're doing Project Neon, which is the big uh, interstate project right downtown, they looked at doing one of these P3 agreements and decided it made no sense financially uh, or from a maintenance and management perspective and backed away from it. So would you um, address those two questions for me? I certainly will. Uh, a lot of talk has been had about repatriation, first of all, and that, of course, is a, a, a lump sum uh, revenue source one time. Previous repatriation plans have disadvantaged uh, U.S. companies by giving tax breaks uh, uh, to their offshore counterparts. We would oppose any kind of tax system that encouraged re or rewarded outsourcing uh, off, the, off the country. Further, uh, any action uh, on repatriation should not reward those who game the system uh, by granting them overly uh, low tax rates. Uh, so we would end the deferrals. We would be look, willing to look at a lot of different things, including uh, uh, border adjustment taxes, things of that sort, uh, that would actually encourage production here, encourage manufacturing here. Uh, but we don't think that just cutting taxes is a solution because in many instances we can show you where low taxes have done nothing and some of the biggest companies that have paid no taxes have still continued to, to offshore things. Uh, with regard to the private partnership stuff, how would we uh, take care of that? First of all, they're of limited access and limited use. They require a, a revenue source, and so repair and maintenance jobs, things of that sort, um, and even in the rural areas where the revenue source would be low, uh, are never going to get built. Uh, if you do them, uh, and there are instances where we could see working with them, you still need to have the protections of 13C, Davis-Bacon, domestic preferences, uh, protections for rail and, and public uh, sector workers, and we would increase uh, the Buy American provisions uh, of, of that as well, so that in fact those tax dollars, even the private uh, sector dollars, are used to increase jobs here at home and increase our economy rather than drive down the wages uh, of Americans here. Uh, we're willing to, to look at and work with people on a lot of different funding sources, but blindly saying, uh, all you have to do is reduce the, the income tax uh, on corporations and everything will be fine, simply doesn't square with reality. Thank you very much. I yield back. Mr. Lamalfa. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for 